Hey guys, it's Marla at Lake Avenue Designs, and here's my new mini I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm holding the camera by hand, so I'm going to try really hard to hold it steady, but I apologize for the shaky um, video. But um, this is a custom album that I just um, finished up this morning. Um, it's for a, um, a baby girl, actually. It's um, the person who ordered it wanted it for a baby shower. But she didn't want something so um, babyish, so um, this was really fun for me to do. I could still make it girly, but um, it didn't have to be all um, baby themed um, per se. So the paper line I used was the um, Hollywood Vogue from Webster's Pages, which is one of my new favorites. Oh my goodness, I love it. And so here's the Hollywood Vogue paper. And um, this little frame was already on the paper, so I just, um, I spelled out Jolie Baby, which is um, pretty baby in French, because um, her room is kind of decorated in French. Um, I like Paris themed stuff. So I did that, and there's, um, I tied a big bow here, and there's just a bunch of flowers and some, and some bling there. I'll try to get close for you. And a few more flowers up there. And just some ribbon and lace on the binding, of course. Okay, so let me show you the first page here. Um, here's some of this trim that I think we all picked up at Michael's a while back when it was there. And I have never been able to use it yet, and so I, I was excited because the color matched this paper collection perfectly. It's so cute. And even the black, it like ties in perfectly. Um, so I just made a simple photo mat. Um, I didn't want a bunch of tags and pockets in this album because this is for someone who's not a scrapbooker. So I just wanted it really simple for her to put her photos in. So I lined it with some um, baby roses. And these are actually from I Am Roses. And then this says Timeless Bliss Classic Story. Just um, the paper just said that. It's pretty cool. And now on this page... Um, some more of that paper. Oh my goodness, I am just in love with it. And I just used my Baroque die and, and made a photo mat, edged it with vintage photo. All the all the edges, it's all distressed with um, vintage photo. That's my favorite color for distressing. And a big Prima flower and some Prima leaves that I glimmer misted. And now on this one, um, just a nice big photo mat. Um, a Prima Rose. I tied a little bow behind here. Um, these are some Prima Roses that I um, glimmer misted with iridescent gold and then I painted the tips with um, with um, tattered rose I believe or tea rose. So there's that page. This one the paper was so cool I didn't want to cover up the um, airplane so I left that um, just the way it was and then I added this really pretty Prima um, flower and then the bling of course and um, some Prima trim so it's just real simple so that they can just add photos and not have to do too much to it and this page this is one of my favorite pages actually because I love this little film strip and there's all the flowers and leaves in there and then this is the brilliant part it wasn't even me my husband was like you should put flowers in there, little tiny flowers, so that it looks like they're coming out of the page. <laughs> so I totally stole his idea, and I did that, and I think it turned out really cute. Because I didn't want to cover it up. I was just going to leave it, but I think the flowers really are really nice on there. And then this paper is part of the collection as well. It's so um, very vintage, very um, like 20s um, glamour girl. It's very cool. And this one um, just tied a big bow and it's pretty simple but very pretty. And this one, some more of that paper. And this is actually, um, I think it's Wizard of Oz. It's like from the play and um, it's kind of cool. All the writing on there. And the flowers are so pretty. So here's another, um, actually I don't think this is Prima, this is probably Recollections and um, some Prima pearls. <coughs> Excuse me. And this one, this is the last page. And I don't know if you can see it here. There's some trim on the edge here. And um, because I didn't do a lot of tags for journaling and things, I made this little um, journal and photo book. And I kind of went crazy with it. I think it's like 18 pages. But um, every page 
has a journaling spot and a photo mat on each page. And so that's just full of spots for more pictures and it makes a cute little book too. So there you go. I will have detailed pictures of this on, um, let's see, I think I'll put it on Facebook, um, which is Lake Avenue Designs, and um, I'll put the link below. And then I'll also um, put detailed pictures on my blog. So thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.